Hey guys, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. Today, we're focusing on the wrist and the backhand throw. If you're brand new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, guys, check out GladiatorDiscGolf.com for awesome merch, discount codes, and blog posts. Among professional players, there are variations of wrist engagement, and it all has to do with their form, their setup, and those kinds of things. But even though there are variations of wrist engagement, Every pro has it. Someone like Philo talks a lot about the whip, okay? He talks a lot about the whip. Dave Dunapace has a video with Innova where he talks about the tip of the whip, okay? And one thing he talks about is getting that wrist action. Okay. If you wanna see somebody who has excellent snap and posts a lot on social media, check out Drew Gibson. He posts reels and videos where he has some excellent snap happening. And if you watch tournament coverage, make sure you go check out any coverage that he is on because you're going to see somebody who knows how to throw the backhand probably the best. Um, he has some of the cleanest, if not the cleanest form in the game. So make sure you go ahead and check out Drew Gibson. I'll leave his socials down in the description below. Watching his stuff has helped me tremendously and I think it will help you as well. Why do they utilize the wrist? Well, let's revisit that tip of the whip concept. When you're talking about, let's say you're doing a little rat tail with some friends, right? I think a lot of guys have done that before. Um, you're not doing it with your shoulder. You're not doing it with just your elbow. To get the snap, whether it's with a towel or if, you are, if you've used a bull whip before, raising cattle or anything like that, you understand that it's all in the wrist to get that final snap. So with the forehand, it's easy. It's that same motion, that forward motion with the wrist. With the backhand, it's opposite. When you're reaching back, if your wrist is in direct alignment with your forearm, this is as far as you can go. And as you're pulling through, that's not a whole lot of action, okay? You're not getting a lot of movement because your wrist can only go so far. All right, you're talking maybe, I don't know, 35 to 45 degrees of movement. Now, a couple things to be wary of. You don't want to have it completely curled in like this. If you have it completely curled in like this, you're gonna end up doing more rounding. You can't really reach back, okay? If you're doing it like this, if you reach back, you're having to do all this uncoiling and unwinding. It's throwing you off your clear path, your linear path. And when you reach out, just before you throw, just bend your wrist to where the top of your palm is in line with your throw. If I'm trying to throw directly that way, I don't want my, the back of my palm facing me. I want the back of my palm facing down the fairway. So when I do that and I come through and I follow through, I'm able to get more wrist engagement on the throw. This is a vital skill that every disc golfer needs to practice and that every disc golfer, regardless of your level of expertise or how many years you've been playing, you want to implement. Having wrist control and knowing how to maximize wrist engagement will help you on more than just your drives off the tee. There are so many times where we as disc golfers, no matter how good you are, you're off the fairway, you're in the woods, you're in the rough, and you have some kind of weird gap, weird angle that you have to throw from. And a lot of times, it can be really hard to get a full throw in. And so you need to kind of shorten your swing, get your elbow more involved. Well, you might be able to uh, do that pretty well, but if you engage your wrist with it as well, you'll be able to get the disc to fly more accurately and more like you want it to. Basically it guys, it's that very simple drill of just lining up your wrist to where you want to throw it, 
focusing on engaging that risk as you throw and making sure that you have a snap at the end. So at the end of the day, if you wanna learn how to throw like Drew Gibson, go ahead and start activating your wrist in your throw, engaging that wrist in your throw, and you're going to see, after practicing it for a couple weeks, you're going to see a lot of improvement. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. Until next time, have a great round.